Hi everybody and welcome to our, oh this is, well this is our geography lesson number four, but this is our third lesson in geography. Um, so we're going to do our retrieval practice first. So in this part we have the um, geography, again we're going to be geographers and a geographer is a type of scientist who studies the earth, land and people. So what have we been learning this term? So this is our knowledge organiser which is at the front of your book and you can see that we have learned already about Europe we learnt about Australia and today we're going to learn all about Africa. So here's Africa. African is the second largest continent. It has the most countries and it's got 55. It's got the oldest human fossils and skeletons have been found in Africa. And the um, population is 1.2 billion people, which is a lot of people. It is more than Europe, it is 741 million. So 1.2 billion is even more. So there are a lot of people that live in Africa. So this lesson we're going to learn what is Africa like. So here are our um, star words. So we have got Africa. And look, it's got a capital A because it's the name of a place. Ethiopia, which is a country in Africa, and it's also got a capital leopard which is an animal elephant rhino or rhinoceros lion and buffalo there are one two three four five animals and you'll learn about the big five later so here is um uh the map of the world remember what's this um invisible line it is called the equator so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say the name of a continent and you're going to point to it so can we point to europe which we've learned about europe is here well done if you pointed to it can you point to australia australia is here well done if you pointed to it can you point to africa which is what we're learning about today africa is here can you point to Asia, the largest continent. It's all here. Can you point to North America? Oopsie. Which is here. South America. Yeah, and the last one you've got Antarctica. So there's our seven continents. So this is a map of Africa. And as you can see, there are lots and lots of different countries in Africa and they are all unique. So a continent is a large area of land and this um, area of land is Africa. And a country is inside the continent. So this bit here, this is Libya and I. this is a country in Africa. And there are 54 countries um, in um, Africa. Um, Ethiopia being the biggest country so let's see if we can find Ethiopia oh it's really big and I oh here it is here's Ethiopia it is the biggest country do we know any other ones I'm sure you could point some out if you see them so Africa has lots of different um, features it has deserts it has grassland mountains and jungles can be found in all different parts of um, Africa and it's home to a range of animals such as hippos hyenas butterflies and beetles in the middle of Africa here and also up here this is where the desert is and then down at the bottom this is where the savannah is so basically all the animals live in the Lion King up here and up the top there's also desert So what you're going to do is, in your books, question number one, you're going to write down three countries in Africa. In your book, it, it, they are all written there, so you can pick any three. Please make sure you remember your capital letters, really, really important for the name of a place. So pause the video now and write down three countries in Africa. 
now we're going to talk about the different food in Africa that's famous. So Nigeria has rice. This is a rice plant. In Uganda, they grow coffee. In Tanzania, they have plantain, which is like a special kind of banana. And in South Africa, they have butternut squash. So these are some of the uh, foods which are grown in South Africa. Okay, they're not made, they're grown, they're natural um, plants. So what we're going to do is you are going to see if you can label um, your diagram. So this is your next question. This is question number two. And in Uganda, what are these called? They're called coffee beans, aren't they? In um, Nigeria, it says rice, so you don't need to write that. In Tanzania, or Tanzania, they're not called bananas. They're called plantains, or plantains. And in South Africa, they are called butternut squash, aren't they? So you need to write the three words on those lines. So pause the video now and you can do those answers. So now we're going to talk about the climate, which is all about the weather and the temperature conditions in Africa. It is a hot climate, which is why it's got a sun, throughout the whole year. The Sahara is the largest desert, which is a picture here of the Sahara. Um, there is, and you can see, if you look at this map, all these yellow bits here and here, these are all desert areas. Well, not all desert, but there's there's lots of sand, especially up here at the top here, where it's warmer. So there is a north desert, which is here, and a south desert in the continent. The north desert is the hottest one, so I'm going to get a red, and I'm going to put a plus, because it's much, much hotter in the north desert. The continent is so massive, it's surrounded by three oceans. You've got an ocean here, an ocean here, and you've got an ocean all the way up the top there. Okay, you can see it also looks a bit like um, a jungle in some of the pictures. So this is looks like a bit like a rainforest. You've got the big trees. You've got uh, it's humid. There's lots of vegetation and waterfall, and it's uh, more of a jungle. Now what we're going to do is. Um, we're going to go on. There is another video link which I'm going to put in your Google Classroom so you can have a watch afterwards if you want. Near the equator, which is about here running through, it is hot and wet throughout the year, which is what this picture shows us. It's hot and wet in the rainforest. And there's a huge rainforest called the Congo. So we are going to, um, you're not going to, you can write this down if you want to. And um, if you don't want to, that's fine. We can do it together. So we've got true or false questions. It snows in the Sahara Desert and the Sahara Desert in Africa. Do you think it could snow in the desert? Remember, the deserts are very, very hot. The answer is it does not. It's false because it's too hot. Africa has a rainforest called the Congo. Oh, I think I remember reading something about that. Is it true or false? It is true. There are 64 countries in Africa. True, yes there are, or false, no. It is false. There are 54. And Africa is the largest continent. Is it a large continent? False. Asia is the largest. Africa is the second largest. So this is the currency which they use in South Africa, which is the um, bottom part of Africa. And it's called the South African Rand. So we use pounds, they use rand. And you can see on all the notes they have and the coins, they have animals on. This one's got a lion, elephant, rhino, buffalo and jaguar. They have five different notes, five animals, and we're going to talk about these, the five animals, why they're so important. So it's called the South African Rand, and these are coins. The five Rand, two Rand, one Rand, and this is 50, 50 cents. So this is the money they use in South Africa. So now this 
is where we're going to talk about the big five. These are the big five animals. There's, there's more than obviously five animals that live in um, Africa, but these are the big five animals. And it is the buffalo, a rhino, a jaguar, an elephant, and a lion. These are the animals that live in the savannah. Okay, these are the big five. And if you go to Africa, everyone always wants to see these five um, animals because these are the animals we saw on the notes. And um, you can see these animals. We've been talking about them a lot. So these are the big five. What you're going to draw is on your picture, you're going to draw pictures of the big five animals you could see in Africa. There's obviously more than five, we said, but can you draw the five main animals that you could see if you go to Africa? So pause the video now and see if you can draw those five animals. You can also label it as well. Right, so now we're talking about landmarks. These are some of the most famous landmarks in Africa. This is called the Victoria Falls. And this is a waterfall in Zimbabwe. I was very, very lucky I have seen it. And these beautiful rainbows, which you can see here, there's one here, and there's also one here. They are there every single day. They're always there. Every single day of every single year, they're always there. And it is very, very beautiful. And it's also actually quite loud. It's the world's largest waterfall. It's named after Queen Victoria, who was once a Queen of England. And in the rainy season, the spray, which is all the water, shoots over a thousand feet in the air, meaning the rainforest around it experiences constant rainfall from the spray. So all around um, this, the um, trees and everything do grow because of the spray that comes off it. So this is Mount Kilimanjaro. This is in Tanzania. Somebody I know, uh, in fact, a few people I know, they climbed all the way up to the top and they stood on the top of this mountain. It is, um, it was very, very impressive, and there was snow on the top. This is the highest peak. This is the highest mountain in Africa. Depending on which way you go, it can take six to seven days to climb um, the mountain. There are seven different routes, and lots of people climb the mountain for charity, which means they raise money, and normally they um, give it to children in Africa to help um, pay for books or things like that. So it is amazing and you go through all well, the savannah at the bottom which is where the animals live and you climb up and then there's like a almost like a desert land and when you get higher obviously the higher you go the colder it gets and when you get to the top it's obviously really really cold. And then in Egypt, oh this is one of the places that I really really want to go. This is called the Valley of the Kings and these are pyramids in Egypt. So this here is the Sphinx and the Sphinx is the guarder of uh, the Valley of Kings. He guards all the pyramids. So the valley contains tombs which are graves of dozen royal rulers of ancient Egypt. The tombs were the pharaohs or the kings and the pharaohs were buried in their pre with their precious belongings like all of their gold and they were buried inside these um, pyramids and um, you um, some of the pyramids are open but there's like a, it's like almost like a maze inside how and where to find it. But eventually, in 1000 BC, the Egyptians decided to bury their rulers in hidden burial places to stop people robbing the treasures from the tombs. So what used to happen was um, they... Um, so what used to happen was is that people used to know that um, their, all the precious um, belongings of the people who had died were inside the pyramid, so they would rob the pyramid. Pyramids are tombs for Egyptian 10, and it's part of one of the seven wonders of the world. They're very, very tall, and they didn't have cranes or machinery to build them. So lots of people wonder how they, um, how they built them, which is still a bit of a mystery. So and this is the Serengeti, which is a national park in Tanzania. 
and it's a large park over 5,700 miles of grassland and woodland. Huge herds of animals ra um, range over the land and you can see animals like gazelles, zebras, baboons, giraffes and 350 um, types of birds like eagles, flamingos and owls. So a very beautiful park. What you're going to do now is you are going to label the countries with the landmarks. So uh, it's got a letter here to help you, but I will help you as well, just in case you can't remember. So Victoria Falls is in, if you can't remember, it's in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Mount Kilimanjaro is in Tanzania, or you could say Tanzania. The Valley of the Kings, the Pyramids, or we should know this one, is in Egypt. And the last one, the Serengeti National Park is also in, well, I'm not going to tell you that one, but it's the same name as one of the other places. So today we have been learning all about Africa, okay? So at the back of your booklet, um, you can see that you can see the picture of Africa, where it is, and you could fill in this if you wanted to as well. So well done for um, all your hard work today, and don't forget to post a picture on Google Classrooms of what you've been doing. Bye for now.